Okay, there is so much to unpack here. Triple H put on another stellar show. First things first, Dexter Loomis is back, and it looks like he's setting up a story where he crashed into someone's car. It was reported before that Triple H is looking to bring back a lot of his NXT people that have been released, so look to see more NXT people making a jump to the main roster. Second of all, I love how people are interacting with each other backstage. Under Vince, people only interact with people they're in a storyline with. But in real life, we know all the wrestlers are backstage, so they have to interact with each other. So just the little things like AJ Styles walking past the women or the cops running past the women to go get Dexter Loomis is wonderful. Then Kevin Owens just destroy Ezekiel, powerbomb him on the apron, and that'll take him out. I assume he's going back to the Elias character. I think he'll be off of TV until he can grow his beard back. And Ciampa being a Triple H guy, I really thought he would have won the US title, but maybe not. I've heard reports that Ciampa's going to go back to his old NXT music and gimmick, so maybe that's what they're going to do here. He loses to Bobby, go off of TV, and changes back to his old gimmick. There are also reports that T-Bar is going to be repackaged. I hope he goes back to his old gimmick and his old name, Dominic Diakovic, or however you say it. They even introduced the brackets for the Women's Tag Team Championships. Here's how I think this is going to play out. I think they're going to get all the way to the end of the tournament, and whoever wins is going to end up being attacked by Sasha and Naomi. I think that would be a cool way to bring them back. All in all, this was another great Raw, and once again, I'm looking forward to Triple H being in charge of creative.